Welcome to this training. So we're going to discuss about Rust security audit and fuzzing and specifically today will be about security audit and code review. So the following point will be discussed uh, today. The first one will be uh, a quick introduction to Rust um, just to be sure uh, everyone get the same basics. Secondly, Rust ecosystem, all the tools uh, that have been provided by the Rust developer team and all different tools that can help us to develop and uh, deal with uh, Rust in, in general. We're going to discuss the security concept in Rust, what makes Rust more secure by design, so um, specifically ownership, borrowing and lifetime typically. We're going to discuss about the most common vulnerabilities that can be found into Rust code. So there is a bunch of them uh, actually. Um, so uh, you can think about um, how do we handle lack like, panics, uh, some macros that uh, are uh, triggering panics uh, in Rust code. So always the same. I mean, a panics can be like a critical bug, and a non-critical bug is always depending of the environment. So we're going to discuss uh, all of that in the same way for uh, arithmetic uh, overflows and so on. We're going to discuss about unsafe code, uh, meaning um, in Rust you can use uh, unsafe, the unsafe keyword, and you can do, you can um, create some unsafe operation manipulation, like memory manipulation typically. And we're going to discuss what's, uh, what is it exactly and what can be the impact of that. And finally, uh, we're going to discuss about a uh, Rust audit. Um, I will mention uh, what is like um, attack surface uh, of like a library or, or like binary in Rust. Uh, we're going to discuss some um, auditing tools that are uh, available and um, which one uh, to use in which uh, context. So um, let's start with the introduction.